What's good everybody? It's Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and in this video I want to share a story with you that went down today just sharing some of the uncertainty in the marketplace and the craziness that's going on in Cleveland right now. Now, I know a lot of people are nervous with this going around and you should be. This is some serious business right now. So most important thing is taking care of your family and staying healthy. I get all that. So we're reaching out to all of our clients on a day-to-day -day basis. Hey, just checking in on you, just seeing if you still wanted to move forward, if you still wanted to stay on the schedule. If not, completely understand, take care of your family and reach out to me when you're ready to keep things back going. So we gotta be, you know, understanding of what's going on, respectable of our clients, make sure everybody's safe, happy, and healthy. And if they need to cancel, no problems whatsoever. We will go ahead and resume when the smoke settles. So I reached out to a customer today. This is just an estimate. I did a rubber flooring install this morning. Customer was super cool. We had our gloves on, masks on, life is good. Everybody's respecting each other's space. Get it done, get the hell out of my house type of thing. Everything's cool. Right after that, I call a customer who's been wanting me to measure his house. Now he's acting like this is some hot rush type stuff, right? So I reach out to him. Hey, I just wrapped up on this job. You want me to stop by and measure? He says, yeah, absolutely. Come on by, here's the address. So he's acting like this is like, yo, we need to get this done, right? So no problem, we're gonna keep it on the schedule. We're gonna keep pushing forward. I get out to the crib, right? Knock on the door, ring the doorbell actually. They come to the door, his wife greets me at the door. She says, before you come in my house, you have to put this mask on. Now, and I'm like, yeah, that's cool. I got a mask in the car, I'll go grab that right now. She says, no, 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 you have to wear this mask. She hands me a mask. Here's the crazy part about this. She's worried about me carrying something and everybody should be concerned because nobody knows who has it right now. It kind of has a little you know, dormant time period. So if you're active in the marketplace, act as if you do have it so you're not hurting anybody else. You know, wear the mask, wear the gloves, take extra precautions, keep your distance from people. Back to the story though. She greets me with a mask. She actually has a stack of them in her hand and they're all brand new, that's cool. She hands me the mask, tells me, no, you have to wear this one. I'm a nurse, blah, blah, blah. That's cool, but here's the crazy part about it. She's fingering up this mask with her bare hands, talking about she's worried about me coming in her crib, but yet she's fingering up a mask that she wants me to put on my face. So, did I? Yes, I did. In hindsight, looking back, that was a bad idea there. So you should not do that. The reason I'm sharing this video is now, I was kind of panicking after that and all that, but I was like, anybody that, that is that level of crazy and paranoid, I'm sure they've been taking all the extra precautions, life is good. But if you encounter a situation like that and the client is very finicky, just say, you know what, it's probably not the best time right now. Let's go ahead and reschedule for when the smoke settles, go home to your family, be safe, be healthy. Let me continue with the story here though. So I go ahead and put the mask on, I measure everything up. And like I said, they are like, you gotta get in here and do this. And then they're, ah, 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 you gotta wear this in here. So I'm thinking, okay, they still wanna get this done, but they want me to take caution. So that's cool, I measure everything up, I give them the price. Okay, well, do we get any kind of discount because nobody's really working right now? My team's actually swamped still right now. I said, yeah, why don't you wait six weeks then when everybody goes into full paranoia and I might have to drop my prices just to stay alive. I'm like, we're swamped right now though. They're like, oh, well, I don't know how I feel about people being in the house right now anyway, so we'll probably wait till this settles anyway. So to resume the story here, and for any of the people in the marketplace right now, if you have concerns on any level at the moment, remember, Flooring is not a priority by any stretch. Yes, everybody wants the economy to keep flowing and things staying good, but if you're that nervous and this isn't something you want to execute on right away, just wait, all right? Because this craziness does not need to be brought to everybody's panic mode here. So here, once again, I drove out to a job site on their call. I was like, hey, whatever you want, we good. They called us. They said, you get out here, get this done. We're ready to rock. I get out there, pause at the door. This mess that I'm fingering all up, I want you to put it on your face. That's bad. So any of you installers that encounter that, just say, you know what, now's probably not the best time because I don't want to put a mask on my face that you've been all fingering up there. That's all bad. Like I said, it was brand new, came right off of a stack, but still, you ain't supposed to, nah, mm -mm, none of that, none of that. So just go ahead and cancel those politely. Say, you know what, it's probably not the best time. Let's go ahead and reschedule. Remember, it's flooring. It's not the end of the world. Not worth getting sick over for two or three weeks. And then when I got in the car, I'm a super germ phobe paranoia dude. So I'm in the car, hand sanitizer. I'm smearing hand sanitizer all over my face because I'm freaking out. I got baby wipes in the car. Then the hand sanitizer again, driving home, get home, suds all over my face. Then we went back to work. And then I went to my other homie's house to do a carpet job for him. 
this is how things are supposed to operate. We come to the door, we got masks and gloves on. He's across the room, you know, he's my dude, so we just open up the door, it's a flip house. What's good, fellas? I'm gonna be over in this room right here doing my thing. Y'all go do the bedrooms over there. If you need me, holler. We'll try and keep respectable distance of everybody. There is alcohol wipes or Clorox or Lysol wipes, whatever they are. They're in the hallway. If you need to wipe anything down to feel comfortable, go ahead and do that. That's how everybody should be acting in the marketplace. Just assume you have it, and that way you're gonna protect all your homies, all your clients, everybody, you want the mask, you want the gloves, all that stuff so everybody has peace of mind. It feels weird, it's gonna be a little different, but I think it's important to do that just to make sure everybody stays healthy and we can get back on track as fast as possible. So, all jokes aside, I hope that you get a little laugh out of that fingered up mask that they wanted me to put on my face today. Ugh, don't mess with that whatsoever. Stay safe, stay healthy. Look, the money thing's going to sting, but we can always, always, always get more money. It's hard to get your health back. So take care of your family. If you got to lay down for a little bit, hold it down, do that. And then hit me up with any questions. Go ahead and comment below. I'm going to be here answering questions, talking about what I'm doing with my investments now that the market's crashed. What am I buying? What am I not buying? If you want to hear more of that on this channel, I'll do recordings showing what I'm buying every day just for kicks to see what happens because, hey, we ain't got nothing else to do. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll connect with you on the next video.